Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I'm using my Color Burst powders along with this die cup at Simon Says stamp called Felicity Snowflake. I'm just gonna use the yellow, orange, and red this time. So I have a piece of Canson XL mixed media paper and I'm gonna spritz it with water. And this is oversized because I wanna cut three of these snowflakes out. And I'm gonna start with the red, and you can see just by taking the top off, some of the powder kind of gets away from me and gets on here and it starts to spread. So these are really potent powders. Um, and so when you put them down, you don't really need a lot. So I'm just gonna put it kind of around here and there. And I'm putting just light taps. Uh, there's that one dark one on the left edge, and it's gonna actually look really pretty when I put the water on it. It kind of becomes metallic when you have a thick layer of these color burst powders. And then I'm gonna put some yellow. So I'm not gonna put the orange just yet. I'm gonna hold this down. This is kind of the way I do it with my paper piercer as it starts to curl up a little bit. And I'm spritzing this with water. And you can see that the colors aren't blending together that much. They're sort of staying separate with a lot of white space in between. So I'm gonna add some more color. Now I'm gonna add the orange. I wanna be careful not to cover too much of my yellow. Um, because if I put orange on the yellow or the red on the yellow, it's going to disappear. And I wanna make sure that I have some bright color. So I add a little bit more red after I added that orange. I'm gonna add some more water. Now you can see I've got huge puddles of water and that's okay. I'm gonna take this kind of pointy brush and move my color around so that it mixes together. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water too where my brush is a little dry. And I'm gonna make sure that I don't cover too much of that yellow, that's pretty key. Now my next step, and you can skip this, I kind of like the look where you dab it with a tissue because it sort of textures it a little bit. Now I know that it takes some of the color out and I'm fine with that because it's already pretty bright, um, but I just love the look you get from the crinkles of the tissue. Plus it dries a lot faster because I had quite a bit of water on there. I'm gonna stop here and let it dry. And it does look a little purpley, but I think that's just the lighting because I had to leave, pick up my kids, and come back. Um, so anyway, I've cut three snowflakes out, and I have this set called Golden Feather by Altony. That's where I got my sentiment from. And I've arranged my snowflakes kind of in a triangle, and I added my sentiment, and then I just picked it up and put it in my Misty, being careful not to move it, so that I could ink it up with some Versamark ink and sprinkle it with some gold embossing powder and heat it to set it. So I've got this really beautifully shiny sentiment here. Now I'm gonna put the snowflakes back the way I had them and I'm kind of making them as close together as possible, but at different heights and different kind of expositions, if you will, so that it looks like it's random. Now to adhere these, I'm going to cut off the edge, like to square it off with a scissor here. It's really easy to do. And that sort of um, kind of positions it for me so I know how to put it back. Now to adhere these, I did it the way I really like to do it, which is with a two-way glue pen. And these are very intricate detailed dies. So um, I was sort of worried about getting good coverage, but the way I did it was I angled my chisel tip so that I had kind of a wide application of the glue and I was able to get it all over this snowflake and press it down and get it um, sticking in every little area and it came out great. I was really happy with the way these adhered. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing with these other two. So I'm gonna position it where I want it so they're not overlapping, but they're really close. And then I'll trim it right outside the edge. I'm leaving a little bit uh, hanging off the edge because there's going to be a red mat that I wanted to also adhere to. If you don't like the two-way glue pen, you could adhere your watercolor sheet after it's dry to a piece of double-sided adhesive and uh, then, then die cut it and peel off the backing and you'll have kind of a snowflake sticker and that will work too. Um, I just always opt for the two-way glue. I don't know why. I just think that the, uh, the double-sided adhesive can be a little difficult to manage because it's so sticky and you can't really touch it very easily. Okay, so now I've got all my snowflakes adhered. I'm going to put some ATG tape runner on the back of this panel and then add a little bit more two-way glue to the very edge and adhere it to a card base. Now my base is real red Stampin' Up! cardstock. So I'm gonna add something on the inside of the card so I have somewhere to write. Uh, but I did fold this card and make it the card base and then I'm just gonna trim off the excess snowflakes on the outside of the red. 
and uh, that's basically the snowflakes. Now I'm using my metallic sequins by Stampin' Up. This is my absolute favorite pack of sequins. I use them all the time. I'm going to grab three gold ones and put them on the, in the center of each one of these snowflakes with my multi-medium mat. Uh, and I'm using my pick-me-up stick. It's how I always adhere my sequins. And that way I tie in the gold of the sentiment to something else on the card. So now I have a gold sequin in the center of each one of these snowflakes. Um, and it looks really pretty in real life. I love the color burst powders. Okay, so here's my insert. It's four by five and a quarter, and I'll put it right there on the inside of my card so I have somewhere to write. Now you could also take maybe an extra, I had some extra watercolor uh, panel. I could have cut another snowflake and put it on the inside, but I just left mine blank. Anyway, that is the card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Another use for your color burst powders. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.